What up, y'all? It's your favorite way to start the week, Movement Monday. Now, function and form are not only vital to getting better, but necessary to help us lead our lives as we get older. The difficult part is being able to get both of these concepts down when performing any exercise. This is especially true for the deadlift, and like most things, we are big believers that this is a movement that just takes consistency and patience to get right. Let's get a head start by breaking it down. As we've covered very recently in a previous post, compound movements, like the deadlift, are about a culmination of muscles working together. While the hinge pattern relies primarily on the posterior chain musculature, like the hamstrings, glutes, and erectors, the muscles involved in the deadlift go much deeper. This is why compound movement patterns are massive calorie burners, difficult, and a great way to build full body functional strength. While you may feel it mostly in those primary movers, this movement has a ripple effect that has a similar influence everywhere in the body. Now that we understand the anatomy, let's get to the biomechanics. Now while this might look like there's a lot going on, we want to point out a few areas of importance that may clean things up right away. The first would be your starting position. Sink your hips low enough after you grab the bar so that you feel some tension in the hamstrings and glutes, but keep your armpit directly above the bar itself. This will help differentiate the starting position from a squat and turn on the primary muscles right away. Once you've begun to lift, you want to visualize yourself pushing your feet and chest away from the ground and ultimately end up with the hips as forward as fast as possible. Perform your descent in reverse fashion, starting with a full hinge from the hips before you even think about bending your knees to bring the weight back down to the ground. One last pro tip that we feel we have to mention is your shoulder position. Imagine squeezing your shoulder blades slightly together and depressed, almost as if you're holding a pencil in between them throughout your range of motion. This will not only influence a more neutral spine, but will help you turn on your lats to take away some of the intensity from the lower back. I may be biased, but I love a good pull day with plenty of deadlifts. Before you get back to work, let us know your favorite variation of deadlift to perform in the comments below. Later y'all, have a good week.